in life? What's your favorite thing you've done? Um, I th- maybe building my. Well, I recently wrote an article that was super, super difficult uh, that was featured on Huffington Post um, for April. And it was super difficult because it was about an abusive relationship I was in in high school and was basically begging the system of uh, churches and and just kind of the conservative world to allow girls to be able to talk about sex in relationships and and difficult things or sex out of relationships or whatever to be able to talk about it and not be judged because I was in an unhealthy relationship and was not allowed to talk about it. Therefore I was in it in silence and it was abusive. And so I wrote what is a little bit, it's a little bit funny. There are moments of humor, but it's, you know, 600 words. It's very short. It's country, but um, they, they loved it. I submitted, they loved it and featured it in the Huffington post. And it was the hardest thing I've ever done because I wanted to stay squeaky clean and and good for my children's show stuff i didn't ever want to talk about anything scandalous and then i realized i have nothing to hide about that right I, that's that's not something scandalous on on my behalf i didn't do anything wrong and right. then because i was told it was scandalous for so long I, I i was i was trapped in it and so finally 15 years later i i take it into kind of my own hands to like write the story and I had never talked to my family about it I had to make a bunch of phone calls when I found out they were going to be featuring it I was like well and it you know tons a million people read I don't know how many people tons of people read it um passed it around and I'm honored by that and so many people have reached out to me on social media just to tell their own story to thank me for mine to say thank you now I know how to speak to my daughters better about this um I, I, administrators of schools have reached out saying, you know, we're changing our system because of what you said. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been incredible that something that for me took so long to, I was silent about it for so long because I was so ashamed. And then, it, you know, it took me a while to even be able to have healthy relationships really be, because I didn't know how to do it. My first ever relationship was so screwed up and he was so manipulative. And so there was so much coercion and, and then the shame, you know, it, it was so, so then finally to be able to say, there's a bigger mess. I mean, there's a message here. There's a power outside of me. What can I do? What can I do to use this? And to have it gone so well and people's, I only read one negative message and because I'm a perfectionist. And of course that's the one I latched on to. The woman was like, I think this is consensual. And she wanted it. And I was like, Oh, Oh no, I wasn't clear in my writing. I'm like, Oh no, everyone else got it. Okay. Yeah. It, it was, it was incredible. So that I'm very proud of myself for that because it is the hardest thing I've ever done. I bet it sounds like it. Good yes, for you. you know, chasing that fear and <laughs> doing yeah. something scary that <laughs> scares me every day. That was the scariest thing I've ever done. I cried a lot. Yeah, I bet that's intense. Yeah, I'm not even sure how to address it. But oh I'm no! Glad that it, you, you were able to do that and yeah. it helped a lot of people. Yeah, and now I'm okay to talk. I've actually started going around to colleges and high schools and talking. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's something that I'm doing now too. Because I'm also funny, so I I woo the kids oh, in by just being yeah. <laughs> well, I mean in the talk, I don't mean as a what yeah. Okay, so I'm here because we're all funny people, but like, but it, I I I've had non funny people on this. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, why I won't listen to those episodes? I'm just kidding. I've had I will. Directors, casting directors. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I want to listen to that. Yeah. So I think as as an actor, anybody like we've all been through. If you've lived a 100% privileged life, that's wonderful. Good. Because then you have all the strength in the world to be a great friend to those people who might really need you. Yeah. Great. But a lot of people have super bad experiences. So let's find ways to use that. That was a great answer. Uh, A very honest answer and a Mm. very good answer.